Suns, moon, and stars into it. Greetings, suns and moons. And of course, I have to welcome back all my stars. If you're new to the channel, welcome to the mothership. I do appreciate all of you for your likes, your donations, your shares, the confirmations you send me through email, the positive energy you show me, the positive energy you show yourself and overall the positive way you show up on the planet. Now, with that being said, let's get in there like a swimwear. Now, you know, I got to remind people, I got a doppelganger, a copycat, a replica, a clone, a wannabe me, but try and do it better than me. An English professor, a WhatsApp bandit, and a voodoo high priest or high priestess. All floating through that comment section, but I also got a lot of love. That voodoo high priest or priestess is promising to get your love back for a small fee of $39.99. All you got to do is sign your life away on the dotted line. Do not fall for the okie doke people. If you have to bend someone's will for them to be with you or for you to be with them, they don't need you and you definitely don't need them. This is past, present, our future energies. Parts may resonate with you. Parts may not take what's for you and leave the rest. This could be someone in your environment, someone thinking of you, you're thinking of them, an ex, a coworker, a Passover, a loved one. You may or may not know these individuals. Any and all information that you need about me or regarding this reading shall be in the description box below, including a link where you can copy and paste that into your browser and, and receive a free birth chart from a reputable site, no affiliation to me. All right. There will also be a link for the membership. Those that are having trouble trying to find the membership, there is a little arrow facing downward by the notification bell. It should be there. Or if you go to the main channel page or check my community board, there will be ways for you to enter. And I do realize that there is a glitch <laughs> in the matrix. All right. So I'm aware. Uh, unfortunately, I started the membership. Well, fortunately, uh, I started the membership while we are at a Mercury retrograde. So it is what it is. Okay. We got the Lotus flower. We're talking about um, I'm hearing, I'm seeing entanglement, but it's talking about enlightenment. So it may be enlightenment of a third party situation here. Somebody may be doing some, um, divination. I feel like you are protected. You, you learned how to protect yourself against these prying eyes. All right. For some of you, these people are realizing that the energy that they sent out is coming back tenfold. All right. So I did a reading possibly about nine months ago where it talked about someone was doing divination without someone's permission. And yes, that is a violation of universal law. You cannot pry into no one else's business without their consent. Now, as far as a collective reading, hey. Those that are called to do the readings, they're going to pick up on energies to guide people. Now, some some people may see that as um, infringement or, or whatever it may be. But even in that, you learn how to protect your energy. If you don't want someone reading your energy, you do the necessary um, things there is that, that you could do to raise your vibration or stop doing things against people and thinking that, you know, you're not going to be found out. OK, I want to say welcome to all my members. I do appreciate all of you. OK, we're talking about building up a shield against this negative energy, sorcery and things of that sort. So we got enlightenment. All right. So for some of you, you may have a platform or this could be about someone that has a platform. Doesn't necessarily have to be someone that is into tarot. All right. Someone I've, and I've been getting this. All right. So someone's been teaching out of a negative headspace. All right. It may have been profitable for this person or profitable for you. However, something has awakened in someone. This is definitely speaking about communication. Right. We got it right there in the middle. 33 could be significant. This could be a part of some society, some order, fraternity organization, just put it that way. All right. 17 could be significant, 13. But most definitely, this is speaking about things that happened in the past and understanding or understanding and ultimately overstanding why you are in this place or who contributed to put you in this place. We're definitely speaking about sorcery, whether if it is spells, um, lies, okay, are just simply an illusion, 
All right. We all have our quote unquote truth here. All right. And just because someone's truth is not in alignment with yours doesn't make it wrong. We're just all on different timelines, learning different things. OK, that's what I'm being guided to address. Why is a listen here for the collective? Some of you, you're very receptive to energy. You're picking on up on the shifts of the planet or something has sparked your interest. OK, you're being guided to listen to this or listen to what is taking place around you. OK, you're coming out of some sort of illusion, some sort of fog. Some of you, you're shedding this old skin, this old belief system, this old way of doing things. OK, this is talking about you having power and dominion over what you give your energy to your finances. OK, your time. 13 talks about. I heard rehabilitation, but a transformation. I picked that up on in the last reading as well. Some of you, this transformation is happening in the dream state. OK, some of you, you may be taking instructions from a guru. You could be a guru. You could be a master at, at whatever um, it is you do. But whatever this is, this is speaking about a transformation and accepting your higher self or accepting a call in here. So we got Pisces here on the fence. Interesting enough, the last reading picked up Pisces in this position in the reverse. You don't have to be a Pisces for this to resonate, but most definitely somebody is or someone that is involved in this situation could be a, a Pisces or there's some sort of secret as well as something somebody's keeping a secret or listening to you in secret. The hermit is Virgo energy. So this is telling me somebody was in some sort of curse in a dark place here and they gained some sort of enlightenment. 33 talks about an ascension. This could be a kundalini awakening. But again, this is telling me that some of you are masters at what you do or you are connecting with the master. You also may have protection from the ascended masters. But this is definitely talking about completion and releasing and shedding old skin, dropping the mask. And this may be happening um, immediately to a collective of people. This could also... To, uh, uh, OK, this could also talking about a separation. All right. A separation of some sort of group. I'm also hearing mind, body and soul or spirit for some of you. OK, but this is separation of some sort of trickster energy, a collaboration. All right. Possibly having to do with some sort of dark entity. All right. Somebody's being called to be a realistic about the things that they participated in the past. OK. Surrounding someone's health or a light worker. You may have encountered these individuals while you were in a Saturn return or a dark night of the soul. But whatever it is for you, you were in that position to gain some sort of enlightenment about things that took place in the past. Some of you, you may be into occult studies or esoteric uh, science, cosmologies, things that are. People don't really gravitate to. OK, you may have spent a lot of time studying here. Somebody could be like uh, some some form of healer. You may be taking instructions from like a Reiki teacher, visiting a Reiki teacher or some sort of healer here. But this is also high priestess energy. So it's on the fence. So somebody has distorted communication or they taken or have taken instructions from somebody that was in a distorted energy. And so what happened is they guided someone. Um, they were guiding someone from a negative space. So they help to keep whoever was listening to them in a negative space. So this is about freeing yourself from some sort of illusion. All right. The attraction to this person is no longer there. You've outgrown it. This is also someone, if this is someone that teaches uh, content, they don't grow. It's, it's this way, this way, this way. And that's it. It's like it's etched in stone. They don't divert from their teachings here because they gain some form of stability or a following. Uh, I'm, I'm hearing something about cult favorites. I don't know if somebody's then I heard Bollywood. I don't know what that's about. Um, somebody could be a Capricorn in this scenario, but this is definitely speaking about your stability. This is also giving me the energy of someone having to watch out for bad habits. OK, um, habitual habits, things that keep you in some form of illusion here. Some of you, you may be <clears throat> some of you may be um, teaching an instruction 
like uh, AA Alcohol Anonymous or something like that. Again, I am not a professional in that sense. And I do suggest that you seek the appropriate people to help you through any forms of addiction. Okay. Something is being hidden or was being hidden surround somebody's finances. Somebody could have Taurus in the first house. You could be an Aries or just somebody is worried about how they appear to the community, to the public here. All right. I feel like this is the individual that has to have their guards up. Okay. We got self-discipline. So this is speaking about moderation. Just because you can do something doesn't mean that you should. Just because you have gotten away with something in the past doesn't mean you will going forward because everybody is elevating. We're talking about giving without expectation, right? From the heart, from your heart, heart space. With strengthening bonds here, this is telling me that somebody took your energy for granted or they took a collective of people's energy for granted. They were supposed to... Let me just say this. We all learn from our mistakes. However, for some of you, this is someone that was aware that of what they were doing. Okay. If they were teaching an outdated doctrine, or this is someone that may glorify things that are addictive. All right. This could also be, again, a high priest is someone that takes money for some form of divination. Maybe they were speaking against someone or the way someone does something here. All right. But this is definitely giving me addictive type of energy. Somebody didn't value the people around them or the support system that they had. All right. This could possibly be something that they did in the past life as well. But we have someone that's uh, focused very much on Light workers, and when you are in a dark space, source will align you with earth angels, people that will help guide you out of that space here. All right. So some of you, you may be realizing that when you were caught up in a repetitive cycle or you um, you were addicted to something, it could be even addiction to tarot. But even with um, addictions to tarot, that leads you to something else. OK, everything happens for a reason. Some people don't like to don't like that, but it definitely is significant for whoever this resonates with. OK, um, let's do this communication. <clears throat> Why is communication here? Some of you, <clears throat> you're being guided to listen to your dreams, write your dreams down, or this is about making your dreams come true. Some of you, you're being released for some sort, some sort of stronghold, addiction, or contract here. The moon energy also came up in the last reading, okay? So again, I do feel like someone wasn't aware of the way they came off or the impact that they would have on the people that view them or go to them for advice, okay? So interesting enough, even with these cards, right? The um, the zodiac and the stars, okay, the planets cards, we still getting that king of wands and that emperor energy. You could be a Sagittarius, somebody could be an Aries or a Scorpio, take it how it resonates. This could also be in your moon sign. But this is talking about someone doing something in secret. But it's also telling me that somebody was healing. So you could be healing from the, some distorted communication. For some of you, the planet alignments are affecting your communication. 72 could be significant. 27 could be significant. 33 could be significant. Again, four, this is about your stability. This is about you completing some sort of karmic energy. I'm hearing something about a negative headspace here. Someone, you, someone was overly dependent on what others say instead of branching off and using their own intuition. That could register to the universe as codependency, even if it's not an actual romantic um, relationship, even with tarot and oracle readings, those are only guides, okay? 27 is to awaken you to your own light, your own divinity, all right? I'm hearing good news travels fast, but also bad news. 
All right. Somebody's trying to explain something. OK, or somebody may be realizing that they were in a negative space when they were in this competitive energy. This is someone that comes off really petty. OK, this is someone that faced a lot of challenges in the, in the past, whether this is you or not. But they also like to challenge people, challenge people's beliefs. OK, or lack thereof. Come on, too many cards. Let's see. We got the sign. So. Something is being illuminated about this rival, about this bully, whether if it is a spiritual bully or a physical bully or abusive relationship is going to register different for everyone. All right. And this is a tower in someone's life because this person thought that they were a secret competitor. They thought that they were secretly doing things. Now, again, we keep getting this this entanglement energy, three or more people that are that are being judged at the moment. These people may have tried to judge you in secret. Twenty seven. If you are a content creator, this is somebody that listens to your content here. They may feel like everything is about them because they're self-centered. They're in a dark place. Somebody may want to communicate with you. Look at that. The high priestess. God. We got the high priestess here and the, definitely the high priestess. So this is someone that listens to you in secret, listens to other readers, listens to me. OK, or they just listen to people that are masters at their craft. Take it how it resonates. This could also be you, if, even if you're not a reader. Some of you, you were subscribed to a certain type of content, a certain type of belief system way too long with the high priestess being here. Facing the left, maybe you're right, but it's my left. OK, somebody lacked insight. Their vision was clouded here. This is also <clears throat> speaking about blocked intuition. Somebody may be trying to block your intuition and this person uh, may be trying to listen to you to see if you have any ailments. If you talk to this person on the phone here or if you post anything online, if my son comes in, I have to stop the reading. So this person is trying to leave the scene of a crime here. This is somebody that's very deceptive against this nine of coins. So this is somebody that was doing something in secret. OK, trying to block somebody's manifestation, trying to stop them from becoming a king or a queen, an emperor or an empress in their own right with the nine of pentacles. This is telling me that somebody was working on whatever it is they were working on, not paying attention to the business that does not pay them or benefit them. OK, this is somebody that was trying to create an obstacle, trying to. Block somebody from having good luck or people seeing them. And, you know, this is somebody stealing someone's intellectual property. We've been getting that a lot in the collective lately. This Knight of Pentacles is someone that works solo. This could be an independent artist here. Okay. And whatever it is you do, you, you do it solo. All right. Somebody could be into gardening, but this could also be an indication that you were planting some sort of seeds. Now, this person may have been trying to plant negative energy on you. Why is Pisces here? There will be a part two. It will be in the members. OK, if you would like to join the membership, check that description box again is by the notification bell. It will be a link there. In the description or on the community board, if you cannot find the join button or the membership button. OK, two of cups. So somebody was trying to break someone's psychic connection, break someone's soul connection to someone else. All right. Trying to mask themselves as somebody's I wanted to say tribe leader. OK, this would be someone that. See someone doing something and they're good at it and then they automatically shift. OK, I'm hearing the jack of all trades. This is like a shape shifter. Their foundation is not stable. They 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 jump from one issue to a, another issue. There's no consistency. There's no con continuity with this person. OK, now this person may present themselves as an omnius, but. They're 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 just jumping. This could be somebody that is narcissist, a narcissistic or they they have narcissistic traits. This is somebody that does things in secret. 
Okay. Now, this could be a group, a collaboration of people that are doing this. And this is why it's coming up like that. Somebody, somebody wanted a separation here. This is somebody that's dishonest. They may also be listening to see if, or checking your comment section to see if there's any competitive, combative energy there. Arguments. This could also, this argument could be in a relationship or a friends group because somebody does not want whoever you are or this person to gain some sort of insight, but it's happening anyway because there is a ascension. Somebody has a first eye, their mind's eye, their third eye, whatever you want to call it, uh, the Jacob's ladder. All of that is being, it, it, it's this person's time to step into this higher level commitment. But first with themselves here. So somebody may be gaining their energy back. I'm also hearing their influence with the Queen of Cups. You're starting something new, something that you love. Okay. There's a new beginning, a new offer, a promotion. And this is something that you need to keep secret or this is something that is secret from you being held secret from you. You may not know that this energy is coming because you are coming out of this energy of healing, possibly from an abusive relationship or relationships. Some of you, you were manifesting people that were abusive to you so you can realize that you needed to get out of this place. Release. Why is this here? Yeah, you needed to get out of this bondage, out of this stronghold, out of this negative thinking, out of this fear based thinking, out of this addiction. Take it how it resonates. The magician. Yeah. So you're in this energy of calling in the things that you need. You have everything that you need. Some of you, you have or had, or this person has this, um, may have felt like you didn't have enough. But the divine is saying you have everything that you need with you. And if you don't, it will be presented to you as you go forward, as you come out of this negative headspace, as you come out of these these uh, contracts, these soulmates that you learned a lesson from. OK, so now that you are in this place where you don't have all this stagnant, chaotic energy around you, you're able to listen. OK. Yeah. Some of you, you have a fear of connecting with people because everyone that you've connected with have um, hurt you or been deceptive. This is not you. This is someone that's coming towards you. The hermit card. Why is this here? Four of coins. Yeah, somebody's holding back. Okay. You have a fear of change or this person did. Hold on. <laughs> You wanted some sort of change, but you were manifesting out of this dark space. More than likely, you were in a Saturn return, but it could just be that you were in a dark space because of the way you grew up and you needed to be enlightenment. It's like taking a, a different road than your peers or your family, but you lacked boundaries. So you were in this energy of learning moderation, self-discipline, taking a page out of someone else's book. In the sense that you were attracting these people that were holding back from you because you needed to learn how to hold back from these people. Okay, Strength in Reverse talks about an abuse of power. It talks about fear. It talks about weak boundaries. All right. So you were put in this negative space because you had to learn this lesson to keep moving forward. All right. Only break bread with people that are like minded. All right. Hold on. Every time I start filming, that's when they do that. I could be sitting up in here and he won't say a pee. But as soon as I turn on the camera, you know. Why is uh, wisdom here? So somebody's gaining knowledge about how to communicate, who to communicate with, how to have boundaries here. And you're feeling energetic, okay? 
For some of you, you may be in this energy of having to travel or someone may be wanting to travel towards you. I feel like there's a, a green light for somebody that's coming out of a dark space. Possibly this person is grieving. Now, you're being guided to keep this a secret or they're trying to keep this a secret from you. This would be somebody from your past here. Okay. You could also be thinking about... Um, a past life love. You could be dreaming about past lives here. Okay. Somebody was unrealistic about their expectations is also what I'm getting. Okay. Because you needed to heal. We got the moon card here in the moon card there. This could be an outdated belief system having to do with women. Why is Mars here? Yeah, somebody needs to balance their emotions. Possibly because of the lost partnership. I don't know all these reversals. Eight of coins. So we're talking about investments, your work, okay, um, your craft. It's the same thing. But I'm getting put in the pieces of something together possibly the pieces of your soul you may have been doing a soul retrieval somebody may want to work with you somebody could travel for work is also what i'm getting so we have the knight of swords so somebody's gaining some clarity about some distorted communication the five of swords okay this is talking about a fair fight okay somebody was dealing with the bully a narcissist, okay? Somebody got caught in the lie, all right? Somebody was trying to stop someone from healing with the three of swords in the reverse. This could be a relationship. Somebody may want to apologize, okay? But this is definitely speaking about some healing from some deceptive energy, okay? With the four of cups in reverse, somebody's coming out of regret. They have a new outlook, OK, this person may have felt like they missed out on the opportunity or you may have felt this way. This is having to do definitely with someone's work for some of you. Somebody is in this energy of mastery, especially with the eight of pentacles being here with um, this ascended master communication. So this could definitely speak about you could be taking a public speaking class. OK, or you could be a public speaker or somebody's an entertainer. Why is heal here? The moon card. So somebody wants to. Yeah, somebody wants to heal something with you. They want to work with work on something with you. But I feel like both of you had this in common where you had weak boundaries. Somebody was trying to overexert themselves. They were trying to have power over you. And this is something that was being done in the dark. Again, if this is your divine counterpart, whether if it's a twin or not, you both were learning lessons with different people. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, this is a burden for someone or somebody felt burdened in the past by some information that may have had to do with a lie to keep somebody from moving forward, to keep somebody from healing, to keep them manifesting out of a negative space. Yeah. Yeah. So somebody was gaining some, getting some information, okay, about somebody's love life that was burdening, burdening them. This is somebody that wanted to offer something, uh, offer something to you or you want to offer um, something to someone. But you had a whole bunch of people in your vicinity or people that was getting in your ear. Readers, you were listening to the wrong readers that was causing you some conflict here. Yeah. So somebody was in this energy of having to walk away from someone or something that they loved. What's at the bottom? Judgment. Yeah. So I feel like this person wishes they could take things back but it's all a lesson so stop stressing right let's get some parting energies for those of you where we're going to end here others of you i'm gonna see you on the members and the members excuse me so oracle yeah so this is about you becoming your own the own master 
Okay, so again, um, readings are only there to awaken something that's already in you. Okay, some of you, you may be oracle or tarot readers, or you're, you you listen to me. Okay, but this is about letting go of the drama. We got to surrender the drama. No matter how emotionally charged the situation, remain calm and don't contribute to the drama. Staying centered will help resolve the issues more quickly. Okay, surrender to divine timing, huh? Sometimes divine timing may differ from your ego's timing. If a goal isn't manifesting fast enough according to your ego, be patient and trust the universal law. All right. I see my members on the other side. For those of you that are interested in the membership, there's a clip, a clip, a clip coming right after this where you can see each tier and the perks of each tier. So make sure to choose the right tier for you. Look in the description box below if you want to join. Go to the main page or to the community board. Deuces. Greetings, stars. I forgot to address the card that flew out on the table. Now, it did come out in reverse. And what I gather from that is this person that you are dealing with, they refuse to take accountability or responsibility for whatever they took part in in the past. This person plays a lot of games. This is an individual that you cannot trust. Hopefully there's more clarity for you on the other side.